There are plenty of things to worry about in the world right now, especially if you go looking for them. High-performance chiropractors are not oblivious to this fact. They're not oblivious to these things, but they certainly don't focus on them. That's because one of their secrets is that they know how to suspend disbelief. All right, good morning, everybody. Dr. Scott here with my lovely daughter, Samantha, who has not been on the show in a while. It's been a little while since she's uh, gotten to be the co-host. Say hi, everybody, Samantha. Hello. All right. Uh, question of the day, which is up there. What's something that's always on the bottom of your to-do list that you can tackle this week with the extra time that you might have? Do you have an answer to that? Think about it for a second. Uh, so something that you've been, that, again, a project uh, that's been on the bottom of your to-do list. Something you keep saying you're going to get to, you know, that list you've got. Uh, but it's at the bottom and you're, you haven't gotten to it, but this week you might. Put that in the comments down below for me now that I've had given you some time. Anything you can think of? Um... Not well. I feel like I just have a lot, a lot of time to do what I want. You have a lot of time for it anyway. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's my point. So what are you going to get done? Um, I'm probably just going to finish my book today. Finish your book. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for me, it's uh, actually spreadsheeting out my workouts. Uh, I've got the first part of my workouts all done. But my accessory exercises, I've just been kind of making up as I go along. And I know that's not good. Last couple days, I didn't do anything. Uh, I finished the strength part of my workout. And I was like, ah, I'm just done. Because it wasn't written. So this week, I am going to get those set up there. Uh, let's see here. Facebook videos for John. Great, John. Uh, that's something we're going to be talking about in the Chiropractor's Business Survival Guide is that we should be doing those things. So, uh, oh, I think I have that down there. Yes, down below. For those of you new to the show, uh, if you're watching this on live or replay, I've been putting together a chiropractor's business survival guide for this COVID time. It's almost ready. Uh, I said that on Friday, but it should be out today. Uh, so if you see a comment down below, it says that if you want the chiropractor survival guide, all you got to do is ask nicely. Uh, all you got to do is say please. So just put please in the comments and I will get that to you again. It should be tonight. If you're watching this, uh, live. It's not ready yet, but put please in the comments anyway. Uh, if you're watching this after about five o'clock uh, Monday here, we should have that ready for you. So uh, make sure you put please in the comments and I will get that to you as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, also, this is today we're talking about the one of the high performance chiropractor secrets. This is secret number four. Uh, we've had three really good ones so far. Today we're talking about suspend disbelief. So having since we're talking about high performance chiropractor secrets, uh, also in the comments down below is a link to the high performance chiro group. If you're not in that yet and you are a chiropractor, make sure you swing on over there. You can always leave if you don't like it, uh, but I think you will. We're actually going to be doing a lot of stuff with the chiropractor survival guide in that group. Uh, we're also talking about going live a couple extra times to dig a little deeper over in there. Uh, I see Hector saying, please, he wants the chiropractor survival guide. Uh, that's fantastic. And again, just add your comment down below if you want it as well. Let's see where we are here. There we go. Um, so let's talk about this secret. Uh, and it is suspend disbelief. What do I mean by that? I'm a little worried about what her answer might be. Um, to make sure that they think it's fake. No. Uh, so I've mentioned in these high performance chiropractor secrets that in the ones that I've studied, the high performance chiropractors that I've studied, they don't grow incrementally. They don't grow at a nice little steady pace, a little bit at a time, 5% per year, 10% per year. They grow exponentially, meaning they're kind of hanging out and they just jump to the next level. And they do it with what seems like very, very little effort. Uh, in fact, most people, if they looked at someone who I would consider a high-performance chiropractor, they would think that they were lucky uh, because they didn't put the effort in. You know, it, it doesn't seem apparent that they put effort in. Uh, and they had incredible growth over a short, short period of time. So... Other chiropractors that I talk to have reservations uh, about the possibility that, the, that they can make such exponential gains at all, uh, that they can jump from one level to the next, uh, particularly with such small amount of effort that it seems like high-performance chiropractors are putting in, and in such a short period of time as high-performance chiropractors are able to make those jumps. That comes from a very, very flawed mindset. It comes from a, a mindset that's flawed with, with doubt, and with skepticism, uh, and it's something that we need to shift. The reality here is that people only use 
what, 10% of our potential, correct? Uh, that's what all the scientists say. So that means that there's already an opportunity for you without any additional resources. Sometimes she just looks at me funny. Without any additional resources for you to do 10 times better than you're currently doing. You can make that jump. Uh, you just got to learn some of the secrets. Uh, that skepticism mindset that you have, that's not based on rationalism. That's not rational thought. It's rooted in mental junk. It's something you've learned along the way. Uh, it comes from accepting these flawed conclusions you've come to over the years as correct. Uh, you know, and I see a lot of skepticism, especially since I'm so public. I'm out here doing Facebook Live videos. Uh, so I get a couple trolls every now and then that are skeptical of the work or skeptical that we get the results that we, we talk about. Uh, and they, they let me know about it. Uh, but, you know, I always look at them and I never respond. I'm kind of joking about them now. But uh, I always think of them that they're... You know, somewhere along the line, they, they accept the conclusions that are mental junk uh, and they're kind of stuck in that space. Uh, and, and I think it's time for them, it's time for any other chiropractor to find some faith in yourself. The faith that's necessary to make the jump. When you jump, let's say over something, that you had this situation uh, last week, right? Uh, there was a creek, we were down there with the dogs and, and she was scared to death to make that jump. Uh, but once she made the jump, she didn't think about it anymore. She didn't think, of, once she had the faith and made the jump, all she focused on was where she was going to land, which is the way we should jump, jump, which by the way is a future secret we're going to talk about. Where's your coffee this morning? You make me any. Oh, okay. Uh, so that skepticism is, is the mental junk. It's the flaw that we have to work on. Uh, if you're going to be skeptical of anything, there are certain things to be skeptical of. Uh, you need to challenge the thoughts and the beliefs that have argued against you making these jumps. You need to challenge the beliefs and the thoughts that, that tell you not to do something because those are the things that hold you back, right? Right now is a great time to practice that, by the way. With everything going on, a lot of us are skeptical of, of what's going to be there when all this is over. And uh, we're, that stops us from doing the actions it would take to be successful. High performance chiropractors don't think that way. They do those actions anyway. They know what it's going to take to get where they want to get to, and they do those things without the skepticism. When you start thinking, why should I bother? Because it's not going to work anyway. You're not going to do those things. I want you to uh, act as if your success is certain, which I think is up there somewhere, isn't it? Okay, hit that one. There we go. Uh, I want you to act as if your, your success is certain. So in this time right now, I think of it as good opportunity, which I know a lot of people are, are don't look at it that way. But for me, I've always talked about purposeful hardship uh, as a very, very good quality is to put yourself through harder things on purpose to kind of train yourself. It's no different than lifting weights. Thank you, some of you. Well, you guys can see the our makeshift school back there where Samantha starts school today. Uh, and the gym is on the other side. You might have seen it in the intro. It's just like going to the gym. You've got to train yourself a little harder uh, in order to get stronger, uh, in order to get more fit. Uh, you've got to put yourself through some purposeful hardship. And this is a great time to practice that purposeful hardship. Uh, we didn't do it to ourselves, but you're in this hardship situation. So instead of thinking about, uh, you know, what if it doesn't work? Do the things that it would take to get the success that you want. Um, suspend your disbelief of, of what if it doesn't work. I've always said, <laughs> you know, uh, I get a lot of flack for, for telling people to train their staff uh, and spend time training their staff. And they're like, oh, you know, my staff, uh, they always leave in six or eight months anyway. So if I train them, uh, you know, I'm just going to have to retrain somebody else. <laughs> like The only thing worse than training your staff and having them leave is not training your staff and having them stay. Uh, <laughs> so the same thing goes here with not doing the things you need to do in order to have the success you want after this whole COVID thing is over. The only thing worse than you doing the things and you improving yourself, and then all of a sudden you get there and, and it doesn't work anyway, is for you to not do those things and then get back into practice uh, and be stuck. Really, she gave a thumbs down. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, by the way, right? Thumbs up. Is to make sure, so if you get there and you haven't done those things, you're no better off. This is the time to act as, you know, to work on this purposeful hardship Look ahead and realize that, yeah, there's a lot of things to worry about if you think about them. But if you do the things now, you're going to be much better off. And those are going to be in the, your chiropractor's uh, business survival guide that we'll get to here in a little bit. Uh, so point is, instead of holding back because you don't ha have hard proof that you can grow your practice now or after this is all over, 
I want you to do the things and see if you end up with evidence proving that you can't grow your practice in that way, that you can't make those incredible jumps that high performance chiropractors make. So just make the jump like her crossing the, 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 uh, the creek. Once you make the jump, you got to focus on where you want to land. You want to focus on the success that you're looking for. So act as if your success is guaranteed. That's what high performance chiropractors do. And then just see which set of ideas that you, you should believe in. Uh, the ones that are holding you back, uh, or if you act like success is guaranteed and you do the things, see what kind of results you get. I think you're going to like uh, the latter. Uh, let's see here. And if it's easier for you, if you hold off on believing anything for a little while, make the jump, do the things, don't believe you're going to have success or failure. But if you have to doubt something, I want you to doubt your limits. I want you to doubt those artificial limits. We talked about those last week, that, that the things that are, anything is possible is a lie, but the things that are within your reach that you can have pretty easily are enough to blow your mind. So doubt your limits. Doubt those things that, again, those mental flaws, um, those, those things that we've learned over the years that have held us back. Doubt those. Suspend your disbelief on your success because you can have a lot more than you, than you think you can. And again, it's a lot easier when you actually get these things and you act as if that success is certain. What do you think about that? Were you even listening to your father? Uh, let's see. So, um, again, this is one of the 14 secrets of high-performance chiropractors that I've put together. This is number four. But we do have 10 more. Uh, and I've actually got a little system already set up to share those other 10 with you. So if you want to skip ahead, like her, with her reading in school, uh, her uh, teacher's always saying, don't read ahead, Samantha, because she has a tendency to do that. If you want to read ahead, uh, put the number 14 in the comments down below. Just one and a four. Uh, just let me know that you want them, and I will get them over to you. Because, again, we do have a little system set up over there that where I have all 14 of these already stored. Uh, so if you want all 14 secrets, put the one four in the comments down below. Make sure you come back tomorrow where we will be talking about, I always forget one number to hit, uh, getting out of the gray zone. So we've been doing some mental exercises, some productivity exercises on Tuesdays. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to get out of the gray zone. So that area, <laughs> I say get out of the gray zone. Here I am in a charcoal gray ceiling, gray walls, black and gray. You see, I like black and gray. Uh, but I want you to get out of the gray zone when it comes to your activities, when it comes to your um, tasks, the things you do, and the, th the way you think, like we just talked about, uh, is getting out of that gray zone where you're just kind of comfortable. Uh, so when we talk about that tomorrow on the show, make sure you stop by for that. I see a 14 popping up on my screen. Thanks, John, for that. I actually see a bunch of good people join us here too. Dennis, Mark, thanks for stopping by. Russ, Brandy, Todd, thanks all for stopping by with me here. Uh, again, if you couple things you can get today. Uh, if you want the 14 secrets, put 14 in the comment down below. If you want the Chiropractor's Business Survival Guide, make sure you put uh, please. please in the comments down below. Uh, and there's also a link down below to join the High Performance Chiro Group, which I hope you will do. Uh, stop by tomorrow for getting out of the gray zone. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Say goodbye, Samantha. Bye.